Uh, obviously, we're entering year three of this pandemic now, and yet we're still using the same levers uh, like lockdown, for instance. Uh, is it time for a new approach? Is that part of what you're telling government to, to look at? We are. Look, at some point, we're going to have a difficult choice to make as Canadians. It seems a choice that other countries are, are making right now. And that is, we can either let businesses reopen and try to safely serve the customers that they've depended on as their sources of income, continue to create jobs and keep the economy moving, or we can lock everyone down, uh, restrict them with, uh, with capacity restrictions. Uh, but if we do that, We've got, to have, we've got to provide full economic supports to the businesses that are being deeply affected. And, and gosh, at some point, that's going to bankrupt us as a nation if we continue to, to have to, to shovel money at, at everybody that is closed down. Uh, I look at what's happening in, in other jurisdictions. Yes, they're dealing with Omicron pressures. Yes, there are strains on, their, on the hospital system, and we can talk about that another time. But I, I got to say, they are finding different pathways. Lockdowns are not being used indiscriminately. Ontario still, I believe, at the end of this, will have the reputation as having had the longest lockdowns in the entire world. Mm. Uh, businesses have already been locked down for more than 400 days, closed for 400 days so far over the course of the past two years, and that the clock has started ticking once again. Uh, we can't keep doing this and then expecting businesses to just hang on and eat the losses themselves. Yeah, and I, I, I don't know whether this is actually happening, but there's certainly at least more talk about defiance. I, 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 I'm not encouraging anything. I'm just observing. Uh, you know, when you talk to gym owners, for instance, uh, you yeah. know, people uh, who own gyms are starting to say, you know, look, we just can't go on this way. We're... we're we're going to take the hit and, and reopen or something like that. Are you getting that sense as well? Oh, yeah. Look, the, the, the business population is really tired of these restrictions. Uh, and some of them are saying, look, my business is going to fail. Or I could, I could put it open again or find a creative way of doing that and have a chance of surviving. And, and I ask the public, if, if your income was eviscerated, if your income was ground down to zero for two years, what would you do? Would you say, okay, I guess I just got to suck it up and, and continue to eat these losses as long as I can? I've talked to members in tears who, have, who's, who are losing their home because it was mortgaged to get the business going, who are putting their payroll on their personal credit card or have depleted their entire retirement savings. They don't have pensions to, to draw on, but all of the money they've set aside for the business owner's retirement is wiped out as a result of trying to keep the business afloat. So it's, it's easy to to judge business owners that are that are at the point of desperation where they take these 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 steps i can understand why they do but i got to say at this stage it's not just defying lockdowns that 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 would be a many have said look dan you should be organizing mass protests civil disobedience to try to get businesses open i guess i would say to them we could do that but governments have scared the pants off of the public yeah. And so many consumers, whether the business is open or not, are just not going yeah. because they are sitting in their basement afraid. Yeah, I know that's part of it too, obviously. And uh, let's face it, uh, if you're like me and like uh, our audience, everybody knows someone who's had Omicron in the last two weeks. And yeah. It at least feels that way anyway. So, uh, you know, there, there's obviously some care. And and I, I want to be clear, I'm not saying businesses are saying we want to open with no... Uh, restrictions and and no uh, COVID protocols. They they want to be safe for their customers, but uh, they want to be open. That, that's basically the point. You got it. And look, Ontario again is the only province that's used blanket lockdowns. Uh, once again, there are other provinces have reached other decisions. The rest of the world seems to be uh, finding other decisions. Uh, to try to combat COVID. The vast majority of businesses have complied with every single rule, regardless of how stupid it is, uh, to try to address the, the, the pandemic. And, and But gosh, this is wearing thin. And at some point, the public health officials and governments are gonna lose the room with the public and, and, and I'd say business owners. And that's, that's happening in, in a lot of cases. Yeah, no, that's a very good point uh, because uh, they need uh, legitimacy and credibility to ask people to do extraordinary things. And if, it, if that isn't there because we're in year three or because uh, some of these restrictions seem a little bit non nonsensical after a while, 
that uh, that's a problem that government has to solve uh, in the future.